All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, <coughs> Salakia, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere, I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, man, we're going to hop right into it. We're gonna hop right into it, and you wondering why? <laughs> you 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 wondering why, right? Come on, man. Second Ezra chapter fifteen. We're gonna read one, then we're gonna jump around. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Go tell my people. Go tell the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So-called. Go tell the Hebrew Israelites. What I'm going to do before I even do it. All right? That, that's what the Lord is saying to his servants, the prophets, right? Let's, let's jump down. Go tell them what I'm going to do before I even do it, right? Verse 5, behold, saith the Lord. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5, behold, saith the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. Famine. Death. And destruction. The, the the Lord is saying this. We're just the servants of the Lord. These these things are happening real time as I speak. Now, all this wicked shit going on, all this wickedness going on throughout the four corners of the earth, and you're still trying to figure out why these things are happening. You see, you, you you're still mind boggled of, of why things are happening the way it's happening. The, do you not see wicked people ruling the earth? Do you not see the, the cesspool of, of wickedness going on throughout the four corners? Do, do you not see that? And then someone's judgment have you. Why, 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 what? You evil pursueth sinners, man. See, there's a way that seems right unto a man and a woman, but the end thereof leads to death. You, you people don't know that. The scriptures say, hate the evil. And love the good. But then the Lord start bringing judgment, bringing that hammer down upon you wicked people. You trying to figure out what's going on. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring. It ain't got nothing to do with us. We're just the messengers. Look, if, if we don't preach the message, it's going to happen anyway. All right? The Lord like, yo, I'm going to send forth somebody to tell you what I'm going to do. Before I even do it, it's always been like that. And you people surprised that men are on the highways and byways. And we're in, the, we're in the internet age. We're in the age of the internet, you know, technology age, right? So you, you're surprised that men, starting off with the head apostle slash elder bishop of the great millstone, the men on down and the affiliates, you you still trying to figure out why we make videos like this. Do you not see what the hell is going on? <laughs> You not see wickedness is everywhere. We prophesied of evil, wars, famines, pestilence, plagues. Remember, these things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Sodom and Gomorrah was 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 an example. All that was written in the scriptures for an example on how not to live. But but remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, so this is how it's going to end. You see. We're going to read on, though. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. You, do you not understand what the scripture is? You not understand what the Lord is saying? He says, Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And we, 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 you think you just let wickedness just continue on to the end of time? What? So, wickedness, just let wickedness continue to, 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 the, to the moon turn black, right? Come on, man. Continue on in wickedness until, until everything just disappear, evaporate, right? No, man. It's a time and a season for everything. The, shit, the, the wickedness of this place has reached up into the heavens. Then the Lord is tired of the Lord. You, you think the Lord don't get tired and fed up? Just, everybody just have a good old time, live a wicked life, and, and nothing happens to you? Are you are you serious? This is the, everything that's being promoted right now is anti-life. The Lord said he's the God of the living. He's a living power. You see? And soon somebody say something about it, you, 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 you're hateful. You, you're bad. Come on, man. We condemn wickedness, so there's something wrong with us, right? Look, the Lord is condemning the wickedness. 
and we condemn what the Lord condemns. But let's get this though. So Rock chapter 40. Woe to that bloody city, man. Let's get this. So Rock chapter 40, verse 8. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners. A complete number. The, the number seven means completion. So, so a complete number of, of evils, you know what I'm saying, are going to happen to you wicked people upon the face of the earth. Do, do you not get that? You, you, you still don't get it, right? Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Are, are you not getting? Are you not getting that concept? You reap what you sow. The same energy that you're producing in the earth. Do you not know that same energy is gonna come back to you sevenfold? You, you people, are so so seduced and blinded. You know what I'm saying? By by wickedness. You know what I'm saying? You you, you hate the light, which is this word, which is Lord Yahweh Shai, and and his messengers. That he sent forth with his word to give you the message. You you hate you hate it all. You're the biggest haters. You people that hate the words of the Bible, you're the biggest haters, man. All right? You, you're anti-life, man. Because the message, aka the gospel that we preach, is it, we preach life. The people of the world, they, they they're anti-life. They, they, they don't care if you live or die, man. All right? And, and, look, and that's what they're pushing. That's what they're promoting. That's why the Lord said this place got to burn soon come. And you can believe that it's going to burn. You Remember, evils and only evil. That's it. That's it. All right? Who remember, Job 4 and 7, whoever perish being innocent. Whoever perish being innocent, man. Nobody. What, what, what is that scripture, man? What is that scripture? They that plow iniquity and sow um, wickedness reap the same. Yeah, yeah, let, let's get it. Look. Judgment. You see that? When I, fire trucks, ambulances, uh, all the above. Look, look. Judgment. Judgment, man. Let's get it right quick. Job. Quick little hit. Job chapter 4, verse 7. And, and the phone chimed in. Yeah, the, the phone chimed in. This is um this is Job chapter four verse seven and reads. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. The word perish means to die. Whoever died being innocent. We just showed you some of the judgments that's gonna happen to you, wicked people. Many of you Israelites, least ye repent. Least ye turn back from your wickedness. Lord God, judgment prepared for you. All right. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. Aware were the righteous cut off. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity, sin upon sin, and sow wickedness reap the same, man. You reap what you sow. Whatever seeds you plant, once you start watering it, it's going to grow. It's going to grow, it's going to grow, and it's going to grow, man. All right? So everything that's going on throughout the four quarters of the earth, guess what? You people deserve it. You, you deserve it, man. Come on, man. You you people act like you don't deserve no harm, no evil pursuit of sinners, man. Many bad times. My friend, let's just get it right quick. Let's just get it. Let's just get it. Oh, but but it's like but like the scriptures say, um, evil men understand not judgment. You got judgment going forth each and every second of the day, man. Look at this, Proverbs 13, 21, evil, meaning bad times, pursuit of sinners, meaning it's, it's running. When you're pursuing something, that means you're chasing after something, all right? So these bad times, don't say, look, we read Sirach 40 and 7. No, you didn't see it on the screen, right? Evil, pursuit of sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. There should no evil thing happen to those that fear the Lord. You, you people haven't even grasped that concept yet. You see, let's get here. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. And then it tells you in Isaiah, the 13th chapter, verse 11. The Lord, I'm, I'm going to get that next too, Lord willing. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. The sword represents destruction. You want to continue on in your wickedness? Then the Lord said, look, D-I-E then. D-I-E then. 
which say the evils, meaning these bad times, shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's what our people are basically saying. No matter how bad, and it's getting bad out here. I mean, bad to the bone, real bad. But our people are basically saying, no matter how bad it gets, they're going to continue on. And their wickedness, what we read earlier, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And the hurt for works are fulfilled. Sleazy doing his job. His job is to promote, is to promote wickedness. You, you can't make something straight that was created to be crooked. This man was created to be, he's the wicked man. A nation of people called the wicked. Don't, don't expect them to um to bring forth righteous laws. Don't don't expect them to do anything good. The scripture say if they do good, they do it unwillingly. But at but at the end, he would declare his wickedness. All right, he he's going to do and he's declaring his wickedness now. You see, what I, and, and we need to get the hell out of here because I forgot what scripture I was going to get. But it, but it's, but it's all good. I know, I know one thing, evil pursue of sinners. I, I know that. The scriptures say, follow not a multitude to do evil, man. <clears throat> follow not a multitude to do evil. Let's get this. This um, matter of fact, 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. More reason on why we should fear the God of the Bible, man. Evils and on. Evils, man. First Samuel chapter two, verse six, and it reads: The Lord killeth and maketh alive; He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich; He bringeth low and lifteth up, man. So the Lord is controlling all the aspects of life, man. And if the Lord said evils and only evils, behold, has come. Damn it, that's what it is. You can't change nothing. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done? Look how the Lord is visiting this place, man. Look at look how the Lord is visiting you people, man. All these different storms, blackouts, man. The Lord giving y'all people, the, you wicked people, the business, man. Remember, all these things were created for you anyway. You know, it, it, it was created for you. And you saw we read in Amos 9 and 10. Our people say these evils, these bad times are not going to uh, overtake. They said they, they ain't worried about the food prices going up. You see? This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Look, our people say everything that's going on right now is not going to affect them. They're, they're not worried about the gas prices going up. They're not worried about the rent increasing like 30%. They're not worried about the shortage on food. They're not worried about, you know what I'm saying, the uh, different... Um, Buildings and shit like that where they store food burning down. They, they, ain't, they ain't worried about the 12,000, you know what I'm saying, cows that just drop, drop dead on the ground. They, they said none of that is going to stop them from committing wicked acts. That, this is how bugged out these people are. Our people have been seduced, man. They're up on a, a demonic spell right about now, man. Isaiah 29 and 6, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. With storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Are you not hearing how the Lord get down? Fear the Lord. Are you not hearing, according to the Bible, how the Lord is getting down? The Lord is getting down with the get down, man. All right? Get down. Get down. The Lord get down on y'all, man. And he's going to get down some more. Remember, this is the year turn up, man. The Lord said he's going to punish the, the wicked. Matter of fact, the, the water you have by Shemel Shai. Look, the Lord bring it back. I know what I wanted to get. The water you have by Shemel Shai. You see, this, this is what the Lord's saying. Isaiah 13. Isaiah chapter 13. Let me just click on it. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. And it reads, And I, this is the Heavenly Father speaking, the Most High Yahweh, who they only call God, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who they only call Jesus, right? Isaiah 13, 11, coming straight out of the Bible, and I will punish the world. For their evil. Are, do, do you not see what's going on? You people are being punished for the wicked, evil deeds that you have been committing, that you didn't turn back from, that you didn't repent from. Talking to you Israelites, man. The Lord is pun punishing all wicked, evil doers, man. You see, plus the scripture say the Lord will not help a, um, a evil doer out, man. Roughly paraphrased, I think that's in Psalms. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness, man. 
and I will cause the, the arrogancy of the proud to cease. All you proudful people, man, the Lord, man, sh the Lord said, no, say he's going to bring, um, this place is going to burn as an oven and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Let's get that next, man. And I'm going to close it out. Matter of fact, I got one more after that. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And will lay low the heartiness of the terrible. And that's going into Sleazy E, the elites, man. The Lord going to bring y'all down low, too. Y'all the most pridefulest people on the face of the earth. Throw these heathen nations in there. They throw two-thirds in there. And, and there you go. You know what I'm saying? A pot full of scum, man. You see? A pot full of scum. The Lord, I, I got something for you, though. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Continue on and you continue on. You know what I'm saying? And just, just know that the Lord got a date coming for you. Yeah, you, you, you got a date, you got a date, you know what I'm saying, with the reaper. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Let's click on it. Let's just kill. Continue on in your madness. This lesson is only for the elect. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud. Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Remember, this, these things are created for you. These, these things are created. That fire was created for the proud in heart. You know what I'm saying? The, the pompous, arrogant spirit. You know what I'm saying? The, the Lord got something for that, man. That's going to be beautiful, man. All right? It's going to be beautiful. It's just, and look, look. And, and that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall. They didn't say might. I think about it. Uh, give me a second note. Shall. And the day that coming shall burn them up. Crispy. Real black darkness. Real crispy, man. All right? It's going to burn them up, say the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor bread. So you take it how you want to take it. You know, the Lord's going to Lord gonna make good. As a matter of fact, I, I ended off on this. Let's go right back to Isaiah. Remember, the Lord got no spirit creative advantage for all you wicked people, man. Yeah, how about Hashem Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, got spirit creative events for you wicked people, man. And you, and you can believe that, man. And the Lord ain't going to stop till he, till he performed the intents of his heart, his mind. Isaiah 34. And 16, and it reads, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, which is the Bible. No one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies, everything that I read is coming to pass real time as I speak now. You see? None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate, because the Bible stands alone. For my mouth it hath commanded, and its spirit it hath gathered them. So while all this death and destruction, mayhem, chaos, lewdness, wickedness is going on, the Lord is gathering the elect, man, out of the nation of Israel. They're repenting. They're turning back from all their wickedness. Because look, we know and therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. We see what the Lord is doing to you people. We see what the Lord is doing to the earth, man. All right? It's going down, man. These things were created for the wicked. Shalom.